Ten Miracles of the Lord's Supper A Bible Study Western rationalism denies that anything miraculous happens in the Lord's Supper. This is a symbol. It can do nothing for you. And sure enough, it does nothing. In contrast, biblical spirituality otherwise affirms several miraculous outcomes of taking the Lord's table by faith. The cup of blessing that we bless, is it not a participation in the blood of Christ? The bread that we break, is it not a participation in the body of Christ? The powerful grace of God works through the Lord's Supper in several ways. Here are ten of those ways. A means of escape from evil temptation. God is faithful, and he will not let you be tempted beyond your ability. But with the temptation, he will also provide the way of escape that you may be able to endure it. 2. A motive for getting out of idolatry. You cannot drink the cup of the Lord and the cup of demons. You cannot partake of the table of the Lord and the table of demons. Shall we provoke the Lord to jealousy? Are we stronger than he? 3. Evangelize unbelievers and restrain evil spirits. As often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. 4. Maintain physical health for a long life. Anyone who eats and drinks without discerning the body eats and drinks judgment upon himself. That is why many of you are weak and ill, and some have died. 5. Learn discipline from the Lord. When we are judged by the Lord, we are disciplined so that we may not be condemned along with the world. So then, my brothers, when you come together to eat, wait for one another. 6. Banish Satan from our midst. When he had dipped the morsel, Jesus gave it to Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot. After he had taken the morsel, Satan entered into him. So after receiving the morsel of bread, he immediately went out. 7. Enhance all worship activities. They devoted themselves to the apostles' teaching and the fellowship, to the breaking of bread and the prayers, and awe came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs were being done. 8. Make little churches grow in numbers. Breaking bread in their homes they received their food with glad and generous hearts, praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord added to their number day by day those who were being saved. 9. Prepare to receive the word of God. When we were gathered together to break bread, Paul talked with them, intending to depart the next day, and he prolonged his speech. 10. Foster the working of divine miracles. Do not be alarmed, for his life is in him. And when Paul had gone up and had broken bread and eaten, he conversed with them a long while, and they took the youth away alive and were not a little comforted. Advice to Church Elders Let your churches celebrate the Lord's Supper regularly. Authorize small groups to celebrate the Lord's table in homes. 
teach that Jesus has commanded the Lord's Supper. Teach the benefits of taking part in the Lord's Supper. Teach small group leaders to serve the Lord's Supper in a manner appropriate to intimate groups. Never teach that the Lord's Supper is only a dead symbol. Never arrogate to the clergy the sole right to serve the Lord's Supper. Advice to Church Members Partake regularly in the Lord's Supper with a church. Sometimes celebrate the Lord's Supper at home. Make the Lord's Supper part of your small group activities. If your church does not serve the Lord's Supper, then find a church that does, or start a new one. <music>